14th of January which means it's week two of this glorious year of 2022 which already promises to be a fucking shit year I don't know I just I had a bad week nothing fundamentally catastrophic but stuff that were exhausting and depressing and frustrating and it's been a difficult week for me um, a lot, a lot of stuff happened against me or didn't happen that should have happened and I'm just very frustrated, you know so I'm not doing so well I'm pretty good on domestic stuff I did the dishes. I should do it again, but I did them last Saturday and I should do that again, but it's okay. And I did laundry and stuff like that. I got I got my blood and blood test the results just came in and they're not that bad but they're not good I don't like them and I don't know what it means and I'm frankly anxious that none of my dog will just tell me they will not call me to tell me you have lymphocytes see lymphocytes in your in your pee and it means that and it's a problem that you can fix and <coughs> truth is knowing all my doctors none of them would tell me they'll just be like yeah their blood test and whatever <laughs> and and they, they just don't get that I'm stressed and depressed and scared all alone in my apartment and none of them will just call me to tell me hey, it's not no big deal it's okay you're not gonna die or stuff like that and they, they won't call me because they don't care and yeah so I did that on Tuesday I think I sketched um, I bought a sketchbook and I filled it with all of my Thunderwear ideas which was fun and made me passionate about it again so it was fun twice already I didn't write on one day and had to write double the next day yesterday I was really bad so I just didn't have the mind space to write so I decided to to write twice today and I did not yet because I've been working on something else today on um, on Tuesday I went to the blood test I edited one video and posted it and I went to buy my dream glasses and guess what they didn't have that color anymore and it just fell apart so much and I already gave, uh, gave 100 bucks to them and they don't have the color I want and I feel like I'm gonna be pressured to take something that I don't like all that much just so I don't waste those 100 bucks but I don't want to buy a 400 pair of or 400 euros pair of glasses if they're not exactly what I want and that's not exactly what I want so that just fell apart and I hate this and I'm so depressed because of it 
have no idea. On Wednesday, I, I just rested. I just spent the day reading fanfiction because I was depressed and frustrated and my landlord still hasn't come for to change the tie, the broken ties in my shower and now the the button that transition from shower to bath just doesn't work anymore yesterday i just wanted a bath and i couldn't have it the usual way i had to let it fill from the shower head and Man, I'm so tired. Yesterday I, on, I only I only went to the tower club because well I spent um I stayed awake to, to read my fanfiction on Wednesday for 21, 22 hours. So the next day I was pretty tired already. And so I woke up around 10.30. So by the time I was really start really ready to start my day uh, it was time to go to the tarot club and it wasn't heated it was so freezing cold there I just ruined all the fun you know because all you all my mind space was filled by fuck him fuck I'm cold and fuck I'm it's just my body is not reacting really well to it my body woke up yesterday and decided it was not going to regulate its temperature at all. So I was hot until I went there and then I sat there for three hours being extremely cold. And everybody there was like, well, yes, you're cold. You see what you're wearing. And like, I'm not supposed to wear a fucking winter coat to go play cards in a, in a locked room. You're supposed to heat the room. It's not my fault if I don't have a winter coat and scarves and gloves brought to a, a closed room to play cards. It's it's not my fault. It's like rape culture and it's your fault for for not for walking home alone at night or wearing something different than what you're supposed to wear, I suppose. No, <laughs> the responsibility of me getting warm is on you, not on me. And the responsibility of me not getting raped is on the people who choose to be rapist, not on me. So I was cold and I was depressed and I was tired, so I left before everyone else because I'm, for one, I'm listening to my body and my body said, go home and get warm. Especially since the people I was playing cards with were not all that much fun. So yeah, I didn't have the, the patience for that yesterday, so I just left. And if someone gives me shit for, for leaving early and, you know, not staying until the end as we're supposed to, I'll be like, okay, I will only come back when you have actual heated room. So that's that's why I didn't write yesterday, which is in a really bad place. I I need to eat, I needed to take a hot bath and take hot tea and all of that happened but then and I didn't have any mind space left for writing. So I didn't write yesterday and today I've been embroidering all day long. I wanted to finish uh, Julianne's gift tonight. And I was so close to do it, like I have everything embroidered, I only have to assemble it. Which should not be all that long, but by when I was assembling I realized I had to redo a panel because I did it in the mirror version that what I have. Then yeah. So I have to redo the panel and they take like an hour and a half. And I didn't have that much space for that at all and already super tired i didn't write yet it's already almost 9 pm and i'm so freaking tired and just i didn't have the man's face to redo that panel 
at all. So I'm gonna finish it tomorrow, hopefully with a more settled mind space and a lot more patience and I'm not gonna butcher it at the end just because I am tired. So I'm gonna finish it tomorrow. I didn't paint at all this week, I wanted to do it and I just didn't have the energy or mind space or time to spare for it so I just didn't paint at all which sucks so yeah it was not it was not a good week hopefully next will be best because better because this week was a shitty week <laughs> I did I did write one advent fic it was a 700 word fic <laughs> but it's one of the Christmas fics and I'm still proud to have now two finished advent stories. It's for Destia, so maybe I have another prompt that I want to use for a Christmas pick. So maybe if I have the time and my space, I'm gonna replace the 700 fanfic by something longer to put in my advent collection. We'll see. But at least now I have a solution. If it's not the best, it is still something that could fill the, ga the gap. I realized that I need to write two advent fanfic per month if I want it to work. And I need to, to write... To create two tea recipes per month too. So I have, for now, one advent fic. I don't have any tea recipes. I have two videos post, one per week, so that's still working. And I wanted to buy the glasses, I cannot. And I wanted to paint the, the wall and build up the wardrobe, which I really want to do. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but I really want to do it because I want, I want my living room situation to be more livable. Which is not right now. Which is... Which sucks for a living room. A living room. I'm tired. I want to go to bed. Still have to write for like an hour and 20 minutes. To feel the quota. It's just... I'm just tired. I'm enjoying writing more. You, All of the other days. Today I'm really just tired. But... I'm enjoying uh, being back to being a full-time writer, you know, and writing every day and having stuff put down and moving on. It's it's nice. It's it's a little. It takes energy, but it's because it's a job. It's something entirely. Its own thing. You have to you have to commit a lot to to be a writer. So I'm I'm okay with that, and I'm I'm glad that I'm writing. I need, I need to focus on that. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go to bed soon. I'm gonna write and I'm gonna go to bed. Tomorrow I'm gonna finish Jew's gift. I'm gonna I'm gonna finish the needlework and I'm gonna assemble the tea blends for her and hopefully send it next week. So I'm gonna be proud and I can move on on other stuff like Selene's gift, <laughs> for example. And just, yeah. Yeah. It's gonna, it's gonna be cool. I'm, I'm gonna be proud to have finished it. But not today. Today uh, I haven't finished it and I have to do, redo the panel and it's okay because Mistakes are part of life, and things don't always go along what is planned, and it's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make peace with that. And next week we're gonna be way better, and I'm not going to throw myself into another three months period of bad luck and frustrating stuff that the world throws on me. I'm not. I'm, this isn't gonna happen. Next week is going to be better and it's going to be good and I'm going to have a lot done 
because it's gonna be a good week. I swear to God. See you next week.